from Spain, we've moved to Germany and it's capital Berlin. Next week we're in France before two nights of a grand finale in London. It's the Berlin Velodrome. We are in the bouncing German capital for a very big night. This is a place that's alive with energy. Tonight we find ourselves underground here in this wondrous structure. Almost seems otherworldly from outside. Inside, it's a fast track and there's quite the atmosphere. So Rudzik in the middle there, in the tricky position of two different people to try and keep his eyes on one in front, one behind. Tom Darash just accelerating alongside there, going high on the track, and Rudzik is wise to the challenge there from Darash. Uh, Rudzik has taken a flyer. He's gone ahead of Saunders, and he's really accelerating already. Bell hasn't rung yet, only now it is. Darash has a lot of playing catch-up to do. Gets the big cadence going as he starts to close the gap, but he's still got a mighty job to do. He's got to go round two more riders, and I'm not sure he's going to do it. If he does, there'll be some performance, because Rudzik's in the front. Rudzik stays in front, Dirash down into the third, and Rudzik makes the final. Wow! Dirash is on his way to losing points tonight. Rudzik is flying up the league. But who's he going to face in the final? Yakovlev is winding it up, you can see. Waiting to try and bounce. His problem is here if he leaves it too late. Now then, he's going. Gets high on turn three of the penultimate lap. It's Labresen who's at the front. Richards is having a fight to get in the slipstream here. Is he going to make it? He is now, he's got rush room, but can he come around because it's Labresen who's been leading this one out since the start. It's still Labresen in front. It's still Labresen in front and there's no contest. Heidi Labresen walks into the night's final without any issue whatsoever and this is the result of it tonight's final will be Mateusz Rudzik of Poland against the Champions League leader Harry Lavresen who whatever happens in the final he's going to put more points into his biggest rival tonight Matty Richardson Coming through to take the bell, it's still Lavresen out the front. Rudzik, if he has the power, he's where he wants to be. He's trying to put the power in as well. Goes up, dives down. He's under the wheel, he's into the slipstream. Can he gain? It's still Lavresen as he goes into those final two turns. Here they come into the home straight, but nobody whatsoever can get anywhere near Harry Lavresen, who wins another sprint competition in the UCI Track Champions League. Job done once again for the man who just keeps winning. So fair play to, to Rudzik there for giving that a good go. But Harry Lefraser once again, with the pressure on his shoulders, with that leader jersey, with everybody expecting him to get a win, he's done it once again. And you're about to see a battle that's probably happened on the boards of Derby, Manchester, London, Glasgow, Newport, and other places. It's Laurie Thomas, Emma Fanukan, Katie Marchant, all vying for one place in tonight's Champions League Sprint Final. The bell rings and the battle commences. It is Emma Fanukan who's trying to make the final again. Katie Marchant now knows she has to make her move. Fanukan still in control of this, continues to be in control. She has to fight though because there's Katie Marchant and it's right on the line. So, so close. 1,200 watts for Katie March at 128 RPM. And you can see her down this home straight here. Lunge for the line. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, 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 you can hear ooh. the gasp of the crowd seeing that replay. Let's have a look at that. There that we go. is what, a tyre width? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the result is that Katie Marchant started the night in 10th place in the league, is going to pick up points. Who's she going to face? And there's a massive opportunity now for Alessa Katrona Propster to do her stuff and increase her lead, whatever happens in tonight's final, on home boards. Andrews upping the ante. She's wearing the black jersey in the yellow and the red. It's Wong, still in the leader's blue jersey at the front and now accelerating as the bell rings. It's Propster. The home crowd are with her. But look at Elise Andrews go. She's flying. She's absolutely motoring along. And Elise Andrews could be ready to upset the home crowd. She hits the front. She does it. And it's New Zealand who upset the German crowd here in Berlin. Elise Andrews 
with quite the ride. Let's get confirmation of what we've just seen. It will be Katie Marchant versus Elise Andrews, Great Britain against New Zealand in tonight's sprint final. It's not been very watchful at all. They're underway quickly. They're halfway through it, in fact, coming up to the bell lap now as they come back into the home straight for the penultimate time. And in that black jersey, it is Elise Andrews, the Kieran World Champion, who takes the lead in this sprint competition. But Katie Marchant, who is back at a very high level, who left her assault to the line to the very end in the semis, coming back right at her. It's Andrews, though. Andrews, Andrews all the way to the line. And it is a sprint victory in tonight's final for Elise Andrews, who is looking like a Champions League superstar. Elise Andrews is on absolute fire. She has been so dominant throughout the racing this evening. Marshall gave her a really good run for her money there. You could just see her in that home straight and starting to come round Andrews, but Andrews was the stronger rider and really clear victory at the end there. It's Kieran time at its final time. Yakov Lev Richardson, De Aish, Dakin, Lavres, and Ambrujuk. They're looking at each other for now. There's movement on the inside here, and De Aish there moving up alongside Dakin. That was strange. A lot of the riders looking on, not happy with that. Now, Yakov Lev. Dakin up on the wheel. Lavres in a long way back, but. We know that if he has the power he's had early on, he has a chance. One and a half laps to go now. Yakovlev is coming round. Lavresen's making his move as the bell rings. It's still Richardson, though, who's trying to hang on. Lavresen taking off like a rocket, though, here. Into the back straight he goes. He's on another planet. He's playing his own game. Harry Lavresen, no one can touch him. That is a demonstration of all demonstrations. And Harry Lavresen making it look very easy indeed. Just on another level once again. I mean, what more can you say about this man? Every time he gets on the track, he delivers. The road to the final for the finalists of the women's Kieran, our last event of the evening. Andrews, Kekwell, De Grendler, Thomas, Prupster and Vecchi have all made it. World champion, series leader and riders hoping to upset. There goes the dirty. It's time to race. One final prize and 20 hugely important points in the UCI Track Champions League. And it's the league leader who is the first to go and try and grab them. Props has taken it on really early here. Come from sixth position right at the back, which is the position that she drew. The crowd are really getting behind her now. She's come all the way around everybody else, right to the front. And now the race is on behind her. And there's a reaction for the world champion because Andrews is there. They're going to come and take the bell now, and it's a fight, a straight-up fight at the minute between Andrews and Popster. De Grendelers in the mix as well. And look at Andrews, she opens up a bike length. It quickly becomes one and a half. Make that two and three. She's coasting into the final straight. And Elise Andrews on top of the world. The world champion winning in Berlin and taking 20 more massive points. And with that, and three successive 20-point holes from last week, Kieran, to tonight's sprint and the Kieran, it is now a leader's jersey for Elise Andrews. And a five-point lead. Well, an increase of the lead for the man signing away there. Maximum 80 points from two rounds for Harry Lavresen. Matthew Richardson has moved up into second place tonight, so on that front, it's been a good night for him. He is, though, 22 points behind his big rival.